We go directly to a report from the ground in Nigeria where extreme levels of repression are being directed at protesters by the government, including killings, arrests, and possibly capital punishment for participants in the hashtag end bad governance protests in early August. I spoke with Salako Coyote on Sunday, September 15th. Here's a clip of about nine minutes where he introduces himself and discusses the Nigerian end bad governance protests and what led up to them. Um, I'm Salako Coyote from uh, Revolutionary Socialist Movement in Nigeria. Uh, I'm an activist right from the day of uh, uh, our institution and uh, I'm a community mobilizer and a socialist. Um, and I'm also a unionist. Remember the government uh, there's a protest that in uh, August 1st the, since the inception of uh, President uh, Tinubu regime, the Nigeria has faced a lot of uh, draconian policy which affect the livelihood of the majority of Nigeria. First is the removal of first subsidy, which lead to uh, increment in the first price and uh, the the poor that's the working class in Nigeria find it difficult to assess the basic things in Nigeria such as to put fuel in their car to move their car around the transportation become much difficult food prices get high uh, and people are suffering. So that call for uh, a protest, people keep talking. At first, uh, people challenge the labor unions to to lead the struggle. Then the, there is the labor union started with uh, the new minimum we thinking that okay if the government can increase the minimum wage it will have to caution the effect of the draconian policy of the uh, government but unfortunately the negotiation started and uh, out of six hundred and something proposed by the nsc the government drag it, they, they agree at 70,000. Just imagine the, the gap. The, the, the NSC proposes uh, 20 something thousand, 26,000 or so. Then the, the government has said that they cannot pay, they can only pay 70,000 naira as no. So the government refused to pay the uh, minimum wage proposed by the uh, labor unions, and uh, the one they uh, they they agreed to pay, they failed to implement it. Then they call for the rank and file the activists in Nigeria to stand up that if the labor union cannot save the workers, then we have to start the struggle by ourselves mm -hmm. and we announce a date we announce august 1st to 10th uh, we, uh, we target a day of rage and uh, we plan to have a protest in the in every state every state every local government that people should gather and protest against the uh, the government yeah, uh, on the first day, at first we had a nice outing where we moved. There is a massive turnout. The protests happened in all over Nigeria, all over the 36 states. And we have a massive turnout. People move with the police, 
police, but all of a sudden, maybe the police receive an order to attack the protesters. Then they started unleashing arms. They started shooting tear gas. From tear gas, they shoot uh, live bullets at people, kill a lot of. There is a scores of protesters that are killed. Like over 2,000 protesters are killed all over the country. Uh, why uh, a lot we can, we, the one we can account for is uh, around uh, 2004 of protesters who are presently in detention are facing charges. But we know that that's not our hope. That there are some people that are being arrested that we are yet to know because a lot of people join in their locality. And they are also arrested too. So we are working on those people. Why the we that lead the protests are facing a lot of challenges. Our phone have been tracked. Uh, uh, we are, we have to be hiding so that uh, we will not get arrested. Because right now, as we speak, we have four of our comrades in detention, facing uh, charges like uh, treasonable felony, uh, or uh, attempt to destabilize the country to overturn the government. That kind of falling, falling charges against ordinary protesters. But we are not going to, to bow down to that because of recent, the government have further proof that they hate the people of Nigeria by increasing the price of PMS, that's petrol. Right now, a liter of petrol costs nine from the NMPC cost nine hundred and 46 Naira, which is, uh, is is too high for the working class to afford. A lot of, a lot of working class now who owns a car have to park their cars at home and join the public uh, transport. And the public transport is also on the high side. So, like somebody like me now, where I used to spend one thousand five hundred naira to go to work before, I'm spending more than three thousand naira now. And uh, the funny part of it is that even the minimum wage that have been signed and agreed have not been implemented. Workers have not collected the minimum wage. But it's still the whole minimum wage that we are being paid, and all these things happen. So the workers are seriously in mess, in serious hardship, because the the take home cannot even take it up for the basic needs, food, shelter. Because another aspect in today's early hours of today. There is a news where a minister of FCT said that he cannot say that there should not be increment in rent, house rent, because they are not operating socialist type of government that they are capitalist. And in capitalism, a lot of things determine the price that so the price of goods and uh, uh, the reality on ground determine how the landlord will increase their rent. That a minister approved that the landlord keep increasing rent. These are the things that the, the ordinary workers in Nigeria face day by day. As was mentioned in that clip, the affordability crisis in fuel and food and rent led up to these protests. It is very acute in Nigeria, but it's something workers are contending with internationally. 
Here, Salako Coyote speaks about the call for international solidarity to secure the release of these workers and activists imprisoned. This is about a two-minute clip. We have always called for international solidarity. And uh, what the method we want, and we want people to do for us is all the Nigeria embassy, they should picket, help us to picket the Nigerian embassy and tell them to drop all those charges against ordinary protesters. Because uh, in the history, we, we, only, we are only with placards. We are not with guns. We have uh, Boko Haram bandits who are killing scores of civilians every day. And the government and the police have not been able to apprehend or arrest any one of them and charge them for treason or whatever. Why is it that it's ordinary protesters who are saying that the life should be easy for everybody in Nigeria, that the government should stop their corrupt practices that will now be faced with uh, charges as bogus, as treasony, felony, all sort of uh, concocted, concocted uh, charges against them. So we will call for solidarity. We need at this time we need the the, the, the workers of the world to come to the to our heads to 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 pressure the Nigerian government to drop those charges against the ordinary protesters. Thank you. Now, if you don't have a Nigerian embassy near you or wish to take action immediately, they are also calling for the signing of a petition uh, that demands the release of those imprisoned. They especially encourage those with a union position to sign. We'll include it in the show notes so you can link over there and sign. Reduce the cost of education. Yes. Let our children go back to school. Yes. We don't want our children to be criminals. Yes.